All right, we just got some big news. Apparently, there's a new state of play that is leaked coming this week. And apparently, Sonic Generations Remake or Sonic Generations Ultimate, whatever it's going to be, is coming out as well. So if we check it here, uh, this comes from Comic Book Gaming. Uh, it says, Sony held a last state of play event back in September 2023, blah, blah, blah. So keep scrolling. Uh, where is it? That news can be coming sooner than you might expect, as a new rumor claims fans will be treated to the next state of play later this week. As always, you want to take this with a massive grain of salt, but there's a good chance an event's happening soon. Alright, so this guy, King Gronk Nick, posted a tweet on the 31st roughly. Ronins will rise, will die stranded, have a rebirth, and Kojima will fulfill his dream. Sonic will live in the shadow of his generation while the hills will remain silent until the dawn when you'll need to catch the metro. Just don't be a Judas about it. Alright, this rumor comes courtesy of Special Nick. The co-founder of Xbox Air, I don't know what that is. And it's kind of sketchy that someone from Xbox Air is leaking a PlayStation state of play, but hey, it doesn't matter. You might wonder about the credibility, but it's worth knowing that Nick leak mo leaked most of the previous state of play. That doesn't mean you shouldn't be skeptical, but it does help Nick's re reliability quite a bit, I'm sorry. So, all you can get from this is that Rise of Ronin will, will be revealed, Death Stranding 2, Sonic will live in the shadow of his generation. It mentions shadow and generation. There's been a shadow or Sonic shadow game leaked for 2024 already. It could be that, but it also is a generation, which could mean like they're remaking generations. I don't know. Hills remain silent. I assume that's Sonic Hill 2 remake. Until the dawn. I'm not sure what that could be. Probably until dawn. Catch the Metro. Apparently there might be a new Metro game. And just don't be a Judas about it. I don't know what that is. I think it says here, yeah. Rise of Ronin, Death Stranding 2, Final Fantasy 7, Sonic game. Again, we don't really know. Silent Hill 2, Until Dawn Remaster. Okay, I guess that. New Metro game and Judas. All right, so as you can see, uh, there is a very good chance that a state of play is coming this week. Uh, given the fact that this guy leaked the entire state of play last week, or almost all of it. I don't know how you leaked the whole state of play, but they did. And now Zippo, uh, a figure in the Sonic space that people will either love or hate, has also added to this saying, yes, a Sonic Generations remaster is on the way. Uh, he says, well, this week certainly started with a boom, a Sonic boom, perhaps. <laughs> Bad puns aside, multiple sources have leaked entire state of play before its airing date. It says multiple sources. I don't know what sources, but we could try and find some. Can't confirm the other contents myself. Okay, but yes, a remaster 2011's beloved Sonic Generation is on the way for this year. I'm going to get to what I think about it after, but let's just read this. Here's the bits I know. Remaster from the ground up. Running on Hedgehog, Eng Hedgehog Engine 2. I don't know. I personally don't know if it's better than Hedgehog Engine 1. I would assume so. But the games running on Hedgehog Engine 1 just look better. Console versions will now run at 60 FPS. Option 4K, thank God. Strong internal mandate for Sega higher ups to improve the quality of Sonic Remasters. Thank God again. Colors Ultimate ruined colors. It didn't ruin colors for me personally, but it ruins reputation. Origins. You can't really ruin the classic reputation, but Origins was not great either. Brand new content featuring Shadow, so I assume they're going to add a Shadow skin, if this is true. Will release in the first half of the year sometime around Sonic's 33rd birthday in June. And he also says this is not the Sonic Shadow game that I'm hearing about, so that's something I guess. It's coming this holiday in time of the movie, I would assume so, if there is a Sonic Shadow special game. Alright, so that's all the information we have, or that I found. Let's, let's see if I can find something else. State of Play January 2024. If I go down, Game Rant has spoken about it, True Trophies. Yeah, so it is, it is being mentioned by a lot of places. But these are the two I found online from YouTube. Thank you. Shout out to Premier Doremi. But, alright, so now my opinions on this. I'm down for a Generations remaster if they do it right. Because this is the thing. Generations is the only game in the entire series that has not gone through a bad period in terms of its reputation. From the day it launched in 2011 till now 2024, there's not been a period of time where people have said Generations is a bad game. People could think it's a bad game, but in the general space, it's never been considered a bad game. Adventure has been has suffered from that. Adventure 2 suffered from it. Unleashed has suffered from it. Every game has suffered from it, except for Generations. So the biggest worry I have for this is they've ruined the reputation of the game. They ruined it. They ruined Color's reputation with Color's Ultimate. Origins was a, as a stain on the classic series. Genesis was terrible. <laughs> I hope, don't ever play Sonic Genesis. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Every remaster they make is absolute garbage. So I just hope that they don't ruin Generations' reputation with this game. And now with the things that Zippo's talking about, things they're gonna add, Shadow, I don't really care. It's on Generations. 
it's just it's a it's a celebration game i don't really care it's cool though release first half of the year i hope they do not rush it they they rushed origins i would assume they rushed colors ultimate actually i don't remember i think they actually let blind school games have extra time but it didn't matter the game was terrible so i hope they don't rush it brand new content i said that but i hope they i hope they do add new levels like they could add they could add games from like poe generation they could add like studiopolis personally from forces i like the city level not the city level what is it the metropolis level the like metropolitan highway that place in the futuristic city and frontiers there aren't really any new levels they could do i don't know what they could do for frontiers but they get something from frontiers realistically other than that console versions running at 60 fps that's good i've been playing the game 30 fps my whole life which is kind of sad auction 4k that's good and Hedgehog Engine 2, I don't I don't think that's that big of a deal. It's just the upgraded version of Hedgehog Engine 1. Which in my opinion just looks worse. They haven't made a game that looks as good as Unleashed since Unleashed. Which is kind of sad, but it's the world we live in. So anyway, those are my thoughts about this. Why is Origins always compared to Colors Ultimate in terms of quality? Origins is a great collection, especially now Colors Ultimate got nothing on it. I do think Origins is a good collection, but if you already have the classics, there's no point in getting it. Which is probably why they removed it from all services. Okay. All right. I just hope I hope they do it right. That's that's the one thing I'm gonna take away from this. I hope they do it right. I hope they don't mess up Generations' reputation. I hope they don't make us waste money on a bad remaster. I hope they add new stuff in general. Just just don't ruin Generations. All right. That's all I'm asking for. Do not ruin Generations. And there's also new state of play. So if you don't want don't care about Generations or care about Sonic in general, there's other stuff to look forward to. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more news related stuff, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and enjoy yourselves.